Hey guys, Topman Jim Bob here with another video. This time it's going to be a Minecraft build. So I'm already started, as you can see, guys. What I'm going to be doing is a modern twist on a church slash chapel using the city texture pack. It will be 59 blocks long, guys. That's what I'm already doing right now. 19 blocks wide, including four for a patio area, which I will show you once we get further into the video. And eight steps out but again you'll see that when we get further out the items you'll be needing here are at least the items i've used guys are sandstone smooth sandstone glass blocks colored blocks colored glass panes chiseled sandstone spruce wood slab sandstone slab bricks spruce fence redstone lamp oak fence oak wood stairs and red carpet so they're the items you'll be needing guys if this is the kind of stuff you like seeing then please make sure guys you are hitting that subscribe button also drop us a like and a comment would be massively appreciated as well guys feedback's always welcome so as you can see guys here we are building the basics i'm not going to be doing the full build for you to see um i will be doing an end product or the end result at the end i will be showing that towards the end of the video guys so i'm just doing the foundations and the basics for you now guys so this is the outline of what we'll be building i'll be building the lower part of the church slash chapel that i'm doing here guys so please stay tuned with me and like i say hope you enjoy this video that i'm doing for you guys i've done it a little bit too long there more than 59 blocks but we can correct that and hopefully move a bit further on so as you can see guys first bit here is well there's a main bit done but obviously there's a corner part that needs to be done as well um this part here that's sticking out is they're going to be the patio area like i was saying we will be doing that you will actually get to see the patio almost complete barring the roof which i won't fully complete for you guys but your own imaginations can do that we will go right to the end and then knock off some because there is going to be it's not all going to be the same shape, hence the modern twist, it's not all going to be one size, one shape. It's going to be a mixture of shapes, guys. As you can see here, guys, this is what it looks like afterwards. With the bottom base and the floor, patio area filled in, four blocks out. And as you can see there, four blocks up with sandstone. So now what we will do, as you can see there, four blocks out, guys. What we will now do, guys, is put on top of the layer, you can see, all the way around, we are going to put some smooth sandstone all the way around, guys. So, just so you know, here we go. We'll just go up to the first corner and then skip on a bit. There we are, guys. Now, for the next part, windows. Basically, I'm going to do it two lots in. First of all, I'll just show you what it looks like with sandstone all the way around. Two blocks in there, and then design the windows anywhere you want but i am going to be using yellow stained like yellow stained glass colored stained glass so you go ahead and pick whatever colors you feel like picking guys i'm just going to pick a random three here just to show you on the video and you can also do your own shape of windows design on windows but i'm doing it two blocks in and i'm going to do like a cross format shape in fact i need to knock one brick further out it needs to go in line or I should I say touching the smooth sandstone there so we'll go blue either side there, and then we'll go green on top, or lime as it's known here. And then we'll just fill this bit in for you, guys, just to show you what it looks like once it's filled in. We're not going to do it all along the front, I'm just going to do a couple of windows and then move on to the next part. You guys will get the idea of what's happening. And then once the finished article comes in, I will give you all of the metrics, uh, all of the metrics and what you need to finish the building. So I'm not just going to show you a little bit of it. I will give you the exact markings out or blocks that you'll need to finish it. And you can also pause the video, guys, if you want to, to copy it. Uh, if you want to use your own imagination and put your own stuff in, then feel free to do so. So what we'll do now here is just put the glass in. I think we'll be doing two sides, two blocks of glass above the door, two either side of the door. And yeah, that should be about it. You can use coloured glass here as well, guys, if you want. And you can use any doors you want. I'm just going to throw in some random doors here for you. Um, what best suits are. We'll go with dark oak door and we'll throw two of them on there. 
Inside, by the way, guys, you can see there, there's just grass. You will, or you can, sorry, just put any kind of sandstone block down. It all looks the same once it's down on flooring. Plus, there'll be pews and carpet inside. So, next, what I'm going to do, guys, is put a layer of, gra uh, layer of grass, a layer of grass down, and it's completely preference what you choose to do here. I'm going with grass. You can go with dirt or any else, anything other that you prefer to do and then we will move on to starting off with the patio so the patio guys needs to go to the same level as the smooth sandstone as you can see from the other side now you can do as many foundations as you want here for the patio i hope guys you are enjoying this basic foundation bit video i am only doing the lower tier of the church like i said i will show you the finished article towards the end of the video so hope you're liking what you're seeing so far guys and hope it's enough to make you hit that sub button or at least like, leave me a comment please guys. Like I've already said, feedback is more than welcome and it's going to, only going to help me out as a YouTuber. So yep, this is Top Man Jim Bob doing this video for you guys just in case you miss a name although you're on my channel so you shouldn't have had too many troubles working that one up. Now for the roof, here we are. We'll go with oak slabs and I'm only going to do the outline of it for you now guys. And I'll just fill a couple in a bit further on just to show you what it will look like. But I'm not going to fill it all in because you'll be able to do that for yourselves, guys. It's not too much rocket science. So we'll build out here and then go across again and again. And if there's any builds you would like to see, guys, on Minecraft, then please throw them down in the comments and I will try my hardest to get them done for you. Um... It is a lot easier if you are to subscribe to me and then request a build because then if you have notifications on it will pop up and notify you that I have another video up. I do various different videos, Minecraft, FIFA, Formula 1, FIFA 17 will be a new one towards the end of this month guys so keep an eye out for that. We'll be doing pack openings at the start as probably would have guessed with someone who plays FIFA. But yeah, anyway, back to this Minecraft now. It doesn't really matter how many spaces you use between the, the fences. I am counting it out, but it's going to look rather odd to start with anyway. Because I'm not really... There's a bit more of a gap there between that one and the last one I did. So we'll just stick one in the middle. It will look odd, like I say, for now. But then what we will do, guys, we'll take a step back and just look at it from... A bit further away and as you can see there is a hole left in the top of that patio area guys you can fill that in yourselves and like i say it doesn't have to be oak dark oak wood you can use any wood you like i just chose preference with this one so i'll knock that out there just a little mistake and we will do this all the way around guys it does just give it a little bit more edge catches your eye a little bit more um, so we will do the fencing all the way around there. I know I've missed out the other end, but I will get that done in a minute for the purpose of this video anyway, guys. So there we go. You can fill that in. But I'm going to leave that for now and press on with the next part of the video. Which we will go with dark oak leaves. So guys, again, now this is going to be set in front of the grass. In fact, we're going to put grass down and then put dark oak leaves on top of it just to make it look like there's a hedge in so we'll go along again there exactly the same dark oak leaves on top guys all the stuff that i have de described in this video if you have you are a minecraft player you will know where to find it all it's fairly straightforward in the items menu so again i am using the city texture pack but you can use any texture pack you like guys if you are also guys on xbox one platform which i am then please drop me a friends request and you'll find me at topman jim bob so that again guys is topman jim bob you'll find me on xbox one if you could also drop us a message after your friend request just saying that you're requesting from the youtube video you're seeing so then i know exactly where the friends request has come from guys again we'll just finish this top part it does look a bit edgier for me um, looks a bit more designful to it and does show it off a little bit more so I'm, I'm pleased with how it's looking at the moment guys like I say I will show you the what it will look like at the end I think you guys will be amazed with what I do with or what I am going to do with it it is going to come across really well so 
There it is from a distance, guys. It's looking pretty swag, yeah, if I do say so myself. Hmm, what to do next? Right, guys, well, this is the finished article. As you can see, it's all different shapes, all different sizes, and hence the modern twist on a chapel. As you can see, what I was showing you there, I decided to push the grass back, push the leaves back, and bring the patio forward, put a few roses down and bricks in front of the grass just to make it look a bit more fetching to the eye. I put stairs there at the end as well, brought it out a bit further and moved the patio across to the right as you can see just there where I was guys. Now with the metrics I will show you in a second but we'll go back a bit just to get a grasp of how good this looks from afar guys. I will talk you through the rest of it now. As you can see, it's got two diagonals with glass in the middle of it. It's a lot easier to do the diagonals first. So I will talk about how many blocks diagonally up you'll need to do. And then you should be able to always leave one block in between. Don't connect the diagonals. So one block, as you can see there, in between at floor level. And yeah, I've done a cross in the middle of the glass, but you can do whatever you want, colour-wise, guys. Um, the paint glass again, colour-wise and yeah it's it's just a little bit more catching on the eye as you can see it's eight up diagonally guys i've used smooth sandstone and eight up diagonally again with sandstone underneath it so once you've done that on both sides you will then be able to put the glass into the middle again we will come up from the top part of the diagonal and i think it's five blocks is it yeah five blocks four sandstone finished off with one smooth at the top two bricks in and then one more brick up, followed by another eight diagonally, guys. You can pause this video just to, if you are copying it, to do it the same. And as you can see, I've done the cross there using chiseled sandstone. The windows, as you can see below, guys, are all different shapes, uh, different lengths in shape, different colours. So, yeah, it is good that the op you have the option to pause this, guys. You will be able to see exactly what the dimensions are of the building. I have done dark oak planks all the way around the front. Um, it does just bring it all together a bit more. So as you can see guys, this is the finished article now that I am showing you. I hope you like it and I hope you like the video. I will show you the rest of it now, so just bear with me. There is another couple of minutes left to this video. So as you can see, it's all jagged in shapes at the back. I wasn't too happy with the back. It was all flat at the back. So I wanted to bring it a bit more to life. And I've actually stepped out the building, as you can see right here, guys. It does look pretty good. Now it's not all one shape and flat from the back. Obviously, you'll need a lot of lighting, guys. So the lighting here at night, if you don't want mob spawns, is crucial to it. It does look like it has two levels as well, guys, as you can see there. But, yeah, that's just, that's just to get a bit more colour to the eye and to make the building look a bit more interesting. So I will be doing more Minecraft builds guys, I will be showing you from the foundations and then the finished article as well. But I will do, do basics and foundations and then I'll be sure to show you around when I have finished it guys. So now next up what we will do is we will go inside the building and just see what I've done inside. As you can see guys we come inside and the carpet is done first i want to show you that the glass i changed from being too wide and too above to just one wide and i did change that to color i just thought it looked a bit better than plain old glass so here you can see the red carpet guys and the pews made out of oak planks and oak stairs so it looks pretty decent if i do say so myself uh, and then we get up to the altar part of it guys and yeah, we've, I've done everything I feel I can, but there's a redstone lamp. Uh, obviously, that's got redstone torches behind it, so you can find this on the third page at the bottom, guys. And just something different added to the building, a bit more character. And as you can see, there's makeshift chandeliers, or the best chandeliers I can make on Minecraft. So there we are. Like I say, you do need plenty of lighting if you do not want mob spawns. So guys, thanks for tuning in. If you've enjoyed this video, then please drop me a sub, drop me a like and comment if you want to see anything else being built. Also, throw that down in the comments and add me on Xbox One if you're on that platform. Top man, Jim Bob. Cheers for tuning in to this video, guys. It's been 
pleasure doing this video. Hope you'll tune in for more soon. Top Man Jim Bob. Peace out, guys. Bye. Hey, guys. Top Man Jim Bob here.